Hello everyone, we will continue that topic, interactive classical report events and we are covering the event at user command. As a part of that event, as a part to replicate that event, we firstly simply display the data from order header table on the basic list. After that, what we want to do? We want our own functions. What are those own functions? One will be ascending function. One will be descending function. Now, we want our own functions. It means we want to create our own GUI status. So how we can create our own GUI status? The syntax to create your own GUI status is set PF status, name of the GUI status. So you can say name of the PF status. When we double click, system asks, yes, do you want to create GUI status? Yes, we created the GUI status and we gave two buttons into which particular part of the GUI status application toolbar. We all know very, very well now GUI status. What are the various parts? Menu bar, standard toolbar, title bar, application toolbar. If I will show you any screen, this is your menu bar, standard toolbar, title bar, application toolbar. And where we want our own functions, we want the functions in the application toolbar. So whatever the GUI status we created, we gave the two buttons or two functions in the application toolbar. Now I will show you the output. Firstly, I will comment this. Firstly, I will show you how the SAP GUI status is. When we go for our own GUI status, how it will be there. Now, suppose as of now, I commented our own GUI status part. I'm giving the input. And you can see this is SAP GUI status. This is SAP menu bar. This is your SAP function keys, or I can say SAP standard toolbar. This is title bar, and this is application toolbar. This is as of now SAP GUI status for this particular screen. Now what I will do, I will uncomment now my GUI status, which we created. And in our GUI status, how many functions we gave as a part of application toolbar? Two functions. One will be ascending and one will be descending. I will run. I will give the input and execute. Have you seen two buttons came automatically in the application toolbar? Previously, it was not there because previously it was SAP GUI status for the screen. Now we have our own GUI status. And in that GUI status, we gave how many buttons in the application toolbar? Two buttons. One will be which button? Ascending button. One will be which button? Descending button. Just see, have you given the same to same thing? But the text we gave to sort data in ascending order, it is visible? Yes. But the shortcut we gave, shift plus F1, have we choose this symbol? Yes, this symbol. Now, if I will go to second button, you can see to sort data in descending order. We gave this information text, but the shortcut we gave shift plus F2. Are we getting a dedicated image? Yes, because now our GUI status is visible. So whatever the functions are in our GUI status, that is visible here. Just see. Previously, when we have SAP GUI status, we have back button enabled, cancel, with exit, cancel, all are enabled. Now, these all are disabled, disabled. 
because we have our own GUI status. If you see, previously we have four to five things are there in the menu bar. Now we have only two things because system and help are always, always there. That's why these two are coming for our GUI status also. But now SAP GUI status is not there. Our GUI status is visible. And what is the name of our GUI status function? In that GUI status, we gave two buttons in the application toolbar. Now, back button is always, always required. So we will enable the back button also in our GUI status. So how to enable the back button? You all know this is function key part. So how we will go for back button? I will go to change mode of the program. This is our own GUI status, where we gave two functionalities in the application toolbar. Now we will go to function keys. Now we all know every button has a function code. So for the back button, we will give the function code back. We all know every button has a unique function code. I will activate. And you can see whatever we did, everything is here. Shift plus F1, we gave to what ascending. If you see shift plus F2, we gave to descending. So everything is there, whatever we did in our GUI status. Now, as of now, we gave, yes, ascending, descending, and now we gave function key, function key back. Uh, we put the back. And we did it in function key part. Now we will execute. And you can see now back button is also enabled. So whatever we did is coming into our own GUI status. So in our own GUI status, we have three things now. We created two buttons in the application toolbar and we have one function key that is back button. Now, now the next question, have you seen, I have written this statement as a part of start of selection event. Now the question comes, why, why I have written this a logic to go for our own GUI status as a part of start of selection event. Simple. Whenever I will click on to execute button, which event will call start of selection event will call. Whenever start of selection event will call. Yes, after that, yes, the, we are getting the output at that time itself. I want this everything. So I have written this logic as a part of start of selection because after executing, we want our own GUI status. So I have written this logic as a part of start of selection itself. So now what is the summary of the video? In this video, we verified that whatever we did as a part of our GUI status, is visible or not. So two buttons are appearing in the application toolbar. One is ascending, one is descending. Now our GUI status is visible. SAP GUI status is not visible. Then we enable the back button also. We all know every button has a function code. And but the function code we gave to the back button, back. B A C K. We gave the function code as back. If you remember, we gave the function code to ascending and descending button as ascending and descending. Now, in the next video, we will write the logic onto those buttons, and we we'll know very well whenever we will click onto those buttons, which event will call at user. So we will continue this part in the next video. Thank you.